The NBA always has young talent coming into the league, and we've seen a bunch of young superstars like Anthony Edwards and Victor Rebanyama be called the new faces of the league. But there's still plenty of guys in their mid to late 30s who are dominating the NBA, which is why we're going to name the best player at each age from 19 to 39. Some of these get pretty controversial, so make sure to watch the whole video and leave a comment if you disagree with our list. Let's start with the youngest player in the NBA, and at age 19, the best player in the league is Bronny James. Okay, I wouldn't go that far yet, but I think he'll actually be a solid role player for years to come. The actual best 19-year-old NBA player is Gigi Jackson after having a great rookie season with the Memphis Grizzlies. He was taken in the second round of the 2023 NBA Draft, and since Memphis had a bunch of injuries, he got a lot of minutes and played really well. Don't be surprised to see him get solid minutes even though the team's healthy now. Victor Webinyama is the best 20-year-old in the NBA with little to no competition. Jalen Duran is solid with the Pistons, and Scoot Henderson could turn into a really solid player. But when it comes to 20-year-olds, it's all about the French Slenderman. He just had one of the best rookie seasons in NBA history history, averaging 21 points, 11 rebounds, and 4 assists per game. He probably should have won Defensive Player of the Year too, which would have been ridiculous to see from a 20-year-old. And I mean, just look at his highlights, this guy is a freak of nature. When it comes to 21-year-old NBA players, there is some slight competition, but I still see a clear number one. Paulo Bencaro has proven time and time again in his young career that he's one of the best young players in the league and a guaranteed top 30 player in the NBA. He made his first All-Star team this year after leading the Orlando Magic back to relevancy, winning 47 games and almost making it to the second round of the playoffs. In Orlando's seven-game series against the Cavaliers, Bencaro averaged 27 points, 9 rebounds, and 4 assists per game. And you have to keep in mind that this is his first playoff appearance. That's why he's definitely the best 21-year-old in the NBA, but you can't sleep on his competition. The Thompson Twins are tearing it up in the league, and they're both a jumper away from being some of the best young talent in the NBA. And Brandon Miller just had a great rookie season, which has given some hope to Hornets fans, which we all know they need. Obviously, Bancaro has proven more than those guys, but the 21-year-olds in the NBA are top of the line. But the age of 22 is more stacked, but surprisingly still is a clear number one, and that's Anthony Edwards. Right now, you're probably watching him dominate in Paris with Team USA, but you can't forget what he did during this past NBA. NBA season. He had the best year of his career and the Timberwolves made it to the Western Conference Finals. During this playoff run, he had iconic moments like trash-talking his idol KD and calling out Nuggets fans on the court. He's been named the future face of the league by many people and I wouldn't be surprised to see him get a championship in the next three years. We still have a little bit of a problem though because his birthday is on August 5th and depending on when this video is posted, he might already be 23 years old. And if that's the case, happy birthday Ant, but we still have to pick out the best 22-year-old NBA player. The runner-ups for this title are LaMelo Ball, Cade Cunningham and Chet Holmgren, which is a great group of NBA players. LaMelo Ball has the only all-star appearance out of the three, but he cannot stay healthy, so I can't choose him. And I love Cade Cunningham, but I'm gonna go with Chet for this one. Even though his rookie season was overlooked because of Wemby's, his impact on both sides of the ball was very evident. He helped the Thunder win 57 games this year while blocking over two shots a night. So if Anthony Edwards is 23 by the time of this video's release, then Chet Holmgren is the best 22-year-old in the NBA. Again, Edwards might be the best 23-year-old when this video comes out before now, let's look at the other candidates. Jalen Williams from the Thunder is 23 and much like Chet, he was one of the main reasons they finished first in the West this year. And then there's also Scotty Barnes who just recently turned 23 and got a bag from the Toronto Raptors. Barnes made his first all-star team this year and he's one of the best defenders in the NBA so if it wasn't for this next guy he would be my pick. But sadly for him Tyrese Maxey exists and he's gotta be the choice here. Maxey also made his first all-star team this year, won most improved player and even though he got bounced in the first round he had some pretty great moments against the Knicks. He's not better than Ant but I think he'll be an all-star in a lot more seasons and one of the best players in the league at some point. There's a bunch of great guards to look at when you talk about 24 year olds in the NBA and one super athletic forward that was one of the most hyped prospects ever. Darius Garland has been awesome with the Cavaliers but this age is so stacked so he doesn't stand a chance. And then there's also Tyrese Halliburton who had a career year with the Pacers which included an Eastern Conference Finals and leading the league in assists per game. He might be the best in this age group a year from now but I'm going in a different direction. And that roadmap is taking us to the top two picks in the 2019 NBA Draft. Both Zion Zion Williamson and John Morant are 24 years old and this is really close. Williamson has been great with the Pelicans, but he just hasn't played enough, so I'm going with John Morant. I know he's had his controversy and health issues, but a couple years back he was an MVP contention. So he's the guy for the best 24 year old in the NBA. Let us know in the comments below who you would rather have out of the two. This next one is going to be quick because Luka Doncic is 25, so he's the pick. This might sound like Glaze, but he hasn't missed an all-star game since his rookie year and after making his first finals appearance there can't be anyone else. Trey Young is also 25 and I want 
wanted to mention him since he's really good, but Doncic is a lot better. Now we get back into controversy with 26 because there's a ton of all-stars to choose from. De'Aaron Fox and Brandon Ingram are both 26 years old, but they don't even compare to the other guys at this age, which should show you how good it is. The argument boils down to two players, Jason Tatum and Shea Gilgis Alexander. Some of you might lean towards one player immediately, but this is close whether you like it or not. I'd say both guys are locked in as top 12 players in the NBA right now, and I have to go with Jason Tatum. I know people aren't going to like that answer, but Tatum just won a championship, has a bunch of all-star and all-NBA selections, and gives the Celtics a bunch of versatility. I know he struggled in the playoffs, and this year wasn't great from an efficiency standpoint, but Shea also hasn't played that many playoff games. He had a great year, and by next season, he could jump Tatum. Before now, I think Tatum has the more impressive resume, and he's the better player. The three-man race for best 27-year-old in the NBA is a tough one to crack, and honestly, it really depends what you value because all of these guys are all-stars. Donovan Mitchell is one of the best shooting guards in the league, and this season, he led the Cavs past the first round and even took a game off the champs. Since he's come into the league and been a playoff regular, Spida is consistently playing better when it matters more. But then you have Jalen Brunson, who's also 27, and last year, he had a legitimate MVP case. He averaged 29 points a game and led the Knicks to the second seed in the Eastern Conference after Julius Randle went down with an injury. And then when the playoffs came around and the Knicks had even more injuries to key players, he stepped up again, leading them to Game 7 in the second round. Finally, we have to mention the sniper Devin Booker. He's one of the best shooters in the league, and this year, he transitioned into the point guard role better than I thought he would. At this current moment, I'm going to give the slight edge to D-Book over the other two because I think his game is more versatile, and he's a better defender and usually a more lethal scorer. At 28 years old, it once again comes down to two players for the top spot, and they're both big men. Carl Anthony Towns and DeMontis Sabonis are both 28, and I think the answer is Sabonis. Cat had an awesome year and he was an amazing defender in the playoffs while helping Minnesota make a run. But Sabonis had an even better year and I think it slightly overshadows Towns. He almost averaged a triple double which is insane for a center and he actually led the league in triple doubles this year. That's really impressive considering we have guys like Luka Doncic and Nikola Jokic who can get a triple double on any given night. He also led the league in rebounding and overall had a better year than Cat. Speaking of Jokic, he's the best 29 year old in the NBA but surprisingly he does have some competition. Giannis Antetokounmpo is also 29 and at the end of the day I think both of these guys are locked in as top three players in the world. This sucks for Giannis because at any other age he would probably be the pick but I'm leaning towards the MVP for this one. We're on a streak of big men right now because the best 30 year old in the NBA is undoubtedly Joel Embiid. I know he gets a lot of hate because people say he flops and whines to the refs but at the end of the day you have to respect his game. He dropped 70 points in a regular season game this year and then dropped a 50 piece in the playoffs when he was already injured. The trio of Embiid, Maxi, and PG should be lethal this year if they can stay healthy. Anthony Davis is the best at 31 with little to no competition competition, especially after the year he had. He played in 76 games this year after everyone criticized him for his inability to stay healthy, and he dominated, averaging 25 points and 13 rebounds a night. I seriously don't understand how the Lakers don't do better with him and LeBron on the same team. Let's get away from the bigs and show some guard love right now with Kyrie Irving as the best 32-year-old in the league. I think he finally realized that while he has the talent to be a number one option on a team, he's one of the best sidekicks the league has ever seen. From his Cleveland days with LeBron to current day with Luka, Kyrie had a phenomenal year averaging 26 5 and 5 a night. He was basically 50 40 90, which makes me excited to see what the Mavs can do next year. At 33 years old, Kawhi Leonard is the best player from that age group with almost no competition again. When he's on the court, Kawhi shows everyone why he's a top 10 player in the league when healthy, but the problem is he almost never is. He played 68 games this year, which isn't terrible, but then he only played two games in the playoffs and the Clippers were a first round exit. Kawhi definitely deserves a big contract when it comes to his skill, but the Clippers are giving him so much money and he just doesn't play enough. But he is still very good in the best 33 three year old in the league. There's a bunch of great NBA players at age 34 such as James Harden, Jimmy Butler, Paul George, DeMar DeRozan, Drew Holiday, and Damian Lillard. So it's really tough to choose out of those guys but I'm gonna go with Paul George. He's still a great two way player in the league which is impressive considering how old he is and even though he's had some injury concerns, this past season he played 74 games. I do see the argument for Jimmy Butler because he's awesome in the playoffs and he's been to two finals in the past couple of years. But I think PG is way more dynamic on offense and they're both good defenders in their own right. This one was really tough to pick because there's an argument for pretty much every guy I listed, so make sure to tell us in the comments who you think is the best 34 year old. Let's keep this one short and sweet since there's only one answer for the age 35 and that's Kevin Durant. It doesn't matter how old he gets, Durant is an automatic 27 points a night on insane efficiency and this year was no different. He's still a top 10 player in the league and I don't see him falling off for at least two years. 36 is also really easy to pick out and that's the greatest shooter ever Stephen Curry. People said that last year Curry started to show signs of old age and not playing as well. And honestly that may be true but if 26 points a night on great efficiency is falling off then that's fine. Like Durant, he's still a top 10 player in the league and one of the best offensive players in the NBA. There really isn't that many quality 37 year olds in the NBA but still we gotta give a shout out to Jeff Green. Uncle Jeff has become an icon and a definition of a veteran in today's league, which is why he gets
gets the nod for the best 37 year old in the NBA. His production is way down compared to his prime, but last season he played over 15 minutes a night for the Rockets. And that's insanely impressive considering he's 37. The day Jeff Green retires is a sad one for the NBA. The fight for the best 38 year old in the NBA is between two more NBA veterans that bring experience to any team they play on. Kyle Lowry served a veteran point guard role for two contenders last year with the Miami Heat and Philadelphia 76ers. He's still playing all right and deserves a spot in the NBA, but the best 38 year old has to be Al Horford. He finally won his first ring this year, and in the playoffs, he was one of their most important players since Kristaps Porzingis was injured. He played 30 minutes a night in the playoffs and gave the Celtics a solid 9 points and 7 boards, which is why he gets the nod over Lowry. And finally, the best 39 year old in the NBA is Chris Paul. Alright, I'm joking, of course it's LeBron James. He's the oldest player in the NBA and his production is still elite, which just doesn't make sense. He just got voted the best player on Team USA and it honestly wouldn't surprise me if he played another 4-5 to five years. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click on the screen for more basketball content.